ClearSight IOL is the world's first IOL platform designed to eliminate PCO using the proven Sharklet technology. This is what our device looks like. It's got a dual square edge, 360 degree ring that incorporates a microtexture designed to facilitate the growth of human lens epithelial cells outside of the visual axis, thus eliminating PCO. We have multiple issued patents, strong in vivo results, and a strong addressable market and problem to solve. The technology originally spun out of the University of Florida, where a professor there was experimenting with the idea of engineered roughness. Could he scratch up a surface and affect the way microorganisms would attach to that? He got inspired by the skin of the shark when he learned that shark skin violates a rule of the ocean. Things that go fast in the water stay nice and clean, where things that go slow get fouled. Sharks go slow, but for some reason are able to stay clean. Turns out it has to do with the physical as well as mathematical properties of their skin, which he incorporated into our original sharklet design, which you see here on the right side. This texture is currently being used in urinary catheters to decrease bacterial migration. And from barnacles to bacteria, we found that bacteria and other microorganisms have trouble migrating, colonizing, and attaching to our surface. We're now taking this and putting it into an intraocular lens. And the first thing we had to do was to be able to test that to validate that we actually could control human lens epithelial cell migration on the surface. In this test, we took a modified scratch wound assay, and essentially put different patterned films in the bottom of a Petri dish, put human lens epithelial cells on there, and then watched the migration patterns. When we did that, we found that uh, when you have a smooth surface, like you do on your right side, or your left side, uh, the cells freely migrated into that space. When you had a sharklet surface present, we were able to direct the migration of those cells and essentially achieve an 80% reduction in cell migration. We then knew we were ready for animal studies. We contacted the folks at the Iran Eye Institute, uh, worked with Liliana Warner to design a four-week rabbit PCO model where we designed a prototype device with our texture on there. We then tested that. And when we tested um, a standard intraocular lens, you can see where it's labeled IOL only, we had quite a bit of PCO that developed. And on the other side, where we had our clear side intraocular lens, there was little to no PCO that developed. When we went back and scored that, what we found was the eyes that received the standard IOL, all of them would have needed a YAG laser capsulotomy to correct for PCO, while none of the eyes receiving our clear side intraocular lens would have needed the follow-up surgery. You can learn more about that in the Journal of Cataract and Refractive Surgery here in the next couple months. What I'd like to do is leave you with a couple key points today. And the first one is, is to let you know that I know what you're thinking. Wow, no PCO, this is great. But I've got a YAG laser, so why should I care about PCO? The reason why is that this is a $3.7 billion market. We do 27 million cataract surgeries a year. Three million of those are in the US, and it results in about almost 700,000 YAG laser capsulotomies each year. Those surgeries cost the healthcare system about $350 million a year, and that's projected to rise to $1 billion by 2050. Many other countries have bundled uh, the reimbursement for that surgery into the initial cataract surgery, and we believe strongly that that's gonna happen here in the US as well. And when that happens, that $350 million profit center is gonna become a $350 million liability that cataract surgeons are gonna ask to, to, not, have to uh, not have to handle. The second thing, from a product perspective, we plan to launch this device with monofocal, multifocal, as well as toric versions. And then the last thing is the old real estate adage, location, location, location. Our IOL offers the real estate to be able to incorporate electronics into it for future monitoring applications. I appreciate the opportunity here to introduce this technology at OIS today. We're currently raising $3 million to be able to get the technology into human trials and would look forward to meeting with any of you who are interested in learning more. You can message me via the OIS app. Thank you very much.